We have three news stories for you today, and I can assure you of two things. One will make your stomach absolutely churn, and there won't be any misspellings in this video. I apologize for that. I know some of you guys called me out for it, and I deserved it, but it was a mistake. I apologize for that, but let's move past it and get on with the news for this week. Did any of you know that kid in school who used to be able to turn his eyelids inside out? Yeah, it was pretty fucking weird, right? Well, imagine if he did that and then took a razor to it. Yeah, this one may not be for the faint of heart. There is a barber in China who is offering eyelid shavings for just $12 American currency. I'm not sure why. I'm also not sure why anyone would want to do it. Apparently, he's not taking off any skin, just unblocking the sebaceous glands of the eye. So what this does is it opens up the glands in your eyelid and it can help cure itchy and dry eyes. Okay, that's fine, but you know what else does that, right? Visine. It's like a dollar. Just go get some Visine, man. Don't let some guy take a fucking razor to your eyelid. What are you doing? I'm not one to judge. I've done some stupid shit over my 23 years, but I feel like this is just dangerous. Allegedly, it's very safe. Ku Cho, an ophthalmologist, claims that it's totally safe as long as he sterilizes the razor. That makes sense and all, but it's not like he has his own establishment. He's literally doing this on the sidewalk. Ugh, count me out, dude. Do people even go to libraries anymore? I think the last time I went is when I needed to print something off. Anyway, if you do, make sure you follow these rules. Walk in, get you a book that's really going to pull you in. Go sit down at a table or desk and start reading. Once you really get nice and comfortable and into the book, just take your shoes off, relax, and then run out screaming when you find out that someone is sniffing your toes. Yeah, so apparently there are people hiding under tables and desks at libraries hoping to get a good look at some of those little piggies. Apparently some people have been caught sniffing them. Now, I don't know about you, but I just don't get the whole foot thing. What about them are sexy? Now, if you're anything like me, you would expect this to be fake news. Something completely made up out of the mind of some insane person trying to get a headline. Sadly, it is true. And it started back in 1971. Apparently, this dude would hide under library desks and tables and squirt ketchup into women's shoes when they weren't paying attention. I don't know. It's weird. But as time went on, it would just get weirder. In 1980, women would leave the library only to find that their toenails had been painted. Nine years later, we would have the first sniffer. When the women went to leave, they would do so with one less shoe. Even more unsettling is that this guy was never caught. Fast forward to 2014, and we've got a guy who complimented a woman's feet and legs before dropping to the floor and kissing them. Finally, in 2015, a man was caught after trying to sniff multiple feet throughout the library of Florida International University. The cherry on top was that he is a registered sex offender. Luckily, he was caught. We're going to move from one fetish to another with footage that was found from the first ever furry convention. Now, for full transparency, I do not have a problem with this. You know, you do you. That's your thing. But this story was just too good to pass up on. That's right. Footage from the first ever furry convention has been found. It took place in 1989, and it's everything anyone could ever hope for. The convention was held in a Holiday Inn in Costa Mesa, California, and over 60 fans were in attendance. Not a bad turnout for the first one, if I'm honest. Nowadays, this kind of thing is pretty welcomed. As a matter of fact, back in 2015, a convention boasted over 6,000 members. Now, like I said, I don't understand it, but I respect it. I mean, for most people, it's not even sexual. And the way I look at it is them expressing their individuality in a way that makes them feel comfortable. Also, I'd like to say that if there are any furries out there in my audience, just know that you're welcome here. 
I'll leave the links in the description to the full video for anyone interested in watching the whole thing. It's 15 minutes long and it's a hoot. Everyone in the footage seems to be having an amazing time and I can't help but laugh at the fact that the person dressed as a dominatrix Bambi is actually a guy named Bob. Bless you, Bob. Bless you, man.